There is no objective understanding why the speed of light is a constant in a vacuum and is independent of the motion of the source or the observer. This is very odd. You would expect the speed of light to be relative to the motion of the light source and the observer. If we think of a person observing sunlight or electromagnetic waves of any kind, it is as though their own motion comes to naught, like a jogger running on an imaginary treadmill. Throughout the whole universe only the speed of light appears to be absolute in this way. There is one way to explain this paradox, and that is if the universe is a continuum of continuous energy exchange or continuous creation formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light with an uncertain future unfolding photon by photon relative to the atoms of the periodic table light is a wave over a period of time and the particle or photon nature of light only occurs when light interacts with the electrons of the atoms. When this happens it forms a new wave function relative to the structure of those atoms. In such a theory the wave particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons are forming a blank canvas that we can interact with forming the possible into the actual the speed of light is a constant and independent of the motion of the source or the observer because the future is unfolding light photon by light photon any motion of the light source or the observer will be over a period of time and both the light source and the observer will remain in the moment of now in the center of their own reference frame as a process of continuous energy exchange or continuous creation. This is difficult to comprehend, but if we take a person observing electromagnetic waves in the form of starlight, they are able to look back in time, in all directions, at the beauty of the stars, from the center of their own reference frame. The further out into deep space they look, the further back in time they can see. Therefore, the nearer they look at something, the shorter the time period, and there must be a limit where there is no time relative to the atoms of the periodic table. In this theory, the limit is represented mathematically by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, with quantum physics representing the mechanics of time as a physical process, with classical physics representing processes over a period of time, as in Newton's differential equations. The main reason why this is so difficult to comprehend is because we are part of the interactive process. The electrical activity in the brain that forms conscious awareness is based on the same universal process of energy exchange with the continuous flow of ideas and perceptions always being in the moment of now, in the center of their own reference frame. This theory can also give us an objective understanding of why the speed of light is the maximum speed limit of the universe. If the universe is coming into existence photon by photon, with each new photon-electron coupling, or dipole moment, the maximum speed of causality, or cause and effect, the maximum speed at which any two parts of the universe can interact, will be the speed of light. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory.